Alright guys, day 30. I do realize this, this match is going slow, but we're just trying to be careful and stuff. Greece. You're right, this is going to take forever now. So Ally did try to get to his city to start bombarding it. And, uh, yeah, it looks like he did make it. It, it, it's they oh Brazil published an article also Mozambique applied to join us again and all that pretty nice let's look at the article Mark Rennie, it is great I agree but yeah I want to go through what Greece has said and we can go through some of the military plans like Oh my, my friend actually beat his... Wait, who's still shooting at it? Oh, this. It is, it is funny. I, I actually talked to Brazil yesterday, you know, over Discord. So they can make up some plans. And uh, apparently this Greece guy told him that he better have boats out of cities. And uh, now we're here. With his cities being bombarded. Like, this is actually kind of funny, if I'm being honest. Oh my. See, so yeah, who knew that uh, all that trash talk wouldn't go well? Because he wasn't adequately protecting his thing. But uh, yeah, Iraq left their coalition, and I'm assuming it's because Greece threatened him to some extent. So we're not bringing Iraq in just for that reason, but essentially, if you look at this, sounds good on the Taiki, there are plenty of others to conquer and rather work together. This is this user, and that's Iraq, by the way, as you can see here, the Iraq flag, this is the user, and it matches up completely. So yeah. But this guy was low on components, I sent my friend a screenshot of all this so he knows what he has. So yeah. We now know that at least one of the cities is definitely done for. So yeah. Let's look at Greece though. Why? This is when I did the capital. The 1st of August. He says I'm on my radar. And I was only poking at him too this entire time. And a week later, I realized how stupid this was. Because it's going to really take forever to fight each other. And I said we could join forces in a coalition together. Could have. You know, could also invade him and Brazil and take all of your territories and he's one of those players but yeah you tell you and I basically said if I thought he was gonna do it I thought he'd already do it but he didn't it's been a week and he still has yet to even come over here because you both know it's gonna be loving says each other for at least six weeks and the attacks will happen it actually happened a few days ago I suggest we team up so we can wipe this out faster and continue on to our next game one of what players? You attacked me for no reason, and now you want me to team up with you. That's something it seems like he made up in his mind. Maybe ask you in a coalition next time. So this happened on a... Then we go to the next day, where I was doing bombers in Iraq before he decided to get the right of way, even. I'm asking Iraq to let me move my bombers out of his territory. He asked what I'm doing, and I said, why do you care? After all, you're the one who wants to prolong this war, because he doesn't want to team up with me. And for one, he's an enemy, and he wants to know why his enemy's moving bombers towards him. You're the one who prolonged it and started, so shut the fuck up. Hey, he said it, so I'm just gonna um, abide by it, you know? I'm not gonna message him, not gonna respond. If he wants to be quiet, I will do it. And then afterwards, he started attacking again because... Like, he already made up his mind. I don't know why he keeps... Why he even said this. I say we team up. He rejected it. Therefore, whatever. And he said this is gonna take forever now. I like how he said that because he probably realized the city was being bombarded. Like it's two hours later after he sent that message. And uh yeah. Not going too great for him right now, I bet. Ah. Whoa. Is that not Iraq? 
it's India. Oh, I see. And there, right here's okay. I see. All right. Thailand's taking Sri Lanka. I mean, Thailand's doing good though right now. I'd say. But yeah, this guy seems to be pissy that I'm actually trying to attack him though. And then I'm still doing it after he refused to work it out, essentially. My friend did try to launch missiles at him, but it did not work because of the frigates he had, which I think I've gotten killed now. Let's hope the newspaper for it. But this Greece guy is like another player face like a year or two back with Brazil, even. Uh, let's do friends and enemies, because I think um, Greece just lost a lot of people, actually. Yeah, look at that. He lost so much. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because his equipment is outdated. He's lost even strike fighters to it, too. He lost three strike fighters. Wow. So, yeah. If you couldn't tell, I think Greece is now going to start falling apart. Because we do have great naval defense, even if we don't have ships, because of my NPAs, which I'm stacking up back in Cordobo, which has four of them, which would slap most ships, giving an attack of 57. Very good, I'd say. Down in Comodoro, not Comodoro, Mendoza, we're building the final level army base, then we can start building up a Nike theater defense missile systems which well, would be a great counter to this guy that we do need can i start it early oh nice we're gonna start getting that up try to put one in every city then his missiles would be completely ineffective but something i did take note of is the fact that this guy actually um is low on money right here because i think had over 200,000 i was on like 60,000 probably due to all the spies he had because unlike him i had the benefit of really just switching it up whenever i want i don't think they've done it at weir claw yet but yeah we keep capturing his spies though and they're getting beat back which works in our favor so yeah, that's basically going to be about it for this one, y'all. I'll catch you next one tomorrow. Have a good one. Peace.